In this session, we'll see about rank transformation. So rank transformation is an active transformation. We can use it to return the largest or the smallest numeric value or we can use rank transformation to return the strings at the top or the bottom of a mapping sorting order. So we we'll learn how to use this rank transformation in our mapping through a scenario and the scenario we'll see in this session is uh, we need to find the two highest paid employees in each department. So using the rank transformation we are going to group by based on department and find the two highest paid employees in each department so I have it uh, uh, we have an employee table which will be our source and employee rank table which is our target so let's start creating a new mapping Okay, so our source is employee and uh, let's take the rank transformation here. So this is our rank transformation. So if you see when I took the rank transformation here, there is an already column called rank index. So the developer tool creates a rank index port for each rank transformation. So the data integration service used the rank index port to store the rank position for each row in a group. After the rank transformation identifies all rows that belong to a top or bottom rank, it then assigns rank index values. So now let's take our employee ID, employee name and we need to know the salary and the department ID. So now let's go to the properties in rank transformation. Ports. So here in our scenario we need to group by the employees based on their department IDs. So I do group by based on department ID and uh, we need to find two highest uh, salaried employees. So for that I'm going to rank based on their salaries. Okay, so if you check on the advanced properties, top or bottom, it specifies whether you want the top or bottom ranking for a column and number of ranks is uh, number of rows to include in the top or bottom ranking. For us it is two highest paid employees in each department so we'll take it as two. So case sensitive string comparison it specifies whether data integration service use case sensitive string comparisons when it ranks strings. In our case since it's numeric uh, it doesn't matter what we do here. So cache directory is the local directory where the data integration service creates the index cache files and this is uh, rank uh, data cache size, rank index cache size and the tracing level which is nothing but the amount of detail that appears in the log for this transformation. So now we have set the rank transformation. Let's take our target table. It's so right, okay. Here, employee ID, employee name, salary, and department ID. Yeah, and our rank index will go to the rank. Yeah. So let's validate this mapping and run it. So here in the data viewer, we can check the data. Yeah. So now in my department table, there are three departments, 10, 20 and 30. So if you see uh, for 30, he, he is the second highest paid and he is the top highest paid. And in department 10, if you see, he's the second and he's the first. And if you see department 20, uh, there are only uh, ones here. There is no here. This happens because if two rank values match, they receive the same value in the rank index. And the transformation skips the next value. 
so that's why we have only one and uh, there is no second highest paid employee okay for more tutorials on informatica go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com